Welcome to the MIDI mapping section. We're going to take BFD2 and line it up and show you the basic things you need to make your playing experience a little bit more pleasurable. Working with a small 10 piece kit, let's go ahead and assign bass drum and snare drum to your MIDI notes. Now, whether you're using a Yamaha, a Roland, a D drum, a Zen drum, it really doesn't matter. The concepts are all the same. But let's go ahead and work with just the bass drum and snare drum for now. So, go ahead and load up a bass drum here. Let's pick, let's see, so many to choose from. The Orange County kick. And we'll come over here to the snare drums. And isn't it nice to see all these drums offered up by F Expansion? We'll go ahead and pick this new marching band snare drum. So, going to the fourth page here, the MIDI page, you'll see in the top the two kit pieces that we've just picked are up here. Now, Let's go ahead and take the bass drum that I'm going to use. So I'll use the bass drum pedal. There's our bass drum pedal, C3. What we do is very simple. Don't blink, you might miss this. But you click on the bass drum, drag it down to that light blue. Let go, select hit. Now the bass drum is in that slot. I'm going to the snare drum, Hit the pad that you're going to use for that for that particular instrument. In this case, it's, we're going to use that for the hit. You see it turns light blue. You grab the drum, bring it down, set it on top of that key, pick the articulation that you're going to use. In this case, it's the hit. And you'd go ahead and continue that on through for the rim, the drag, and the side stick. And now you've learned your snare drum. Now to point out a couple other things while you're in here. Looking at the snare drum's hit, sliding over here, you'll notice the velocity curve. Now this is where you can make up for some problems that you might be experiencing with your electronic drum system. By just clicking and dragging this map around, you can add some expressive values. For instance, right there, giving it just a little bit more of a curve towards more of a logarithmic kind of a curve. We're in pretty good shape here as far as dynamics go. Bringing it up also will bring everything up where most of the notes you fire will sound the loudest voices within BFD. This is all set up to taste depending on what instrument you're using and how your drums want to be responding to the track you're working with or to the electronic drum system that you have. That's the basics for MIDI mapping. All you have to do is click, drag, drop it, select the articulation, play with the velocity curve, and you're in good shape. Take a note over here, this window right here, that is our MIDI log. So any activity that you're sending to BFD2 will show up here so it's a good ref reference for you. You have, you have what the ex exact uh, MIDI note number, the actual name of it, and uh, channel and note number information all here in this window. Okay, you've just worked on your bass drum and your snare drum, so just fill out the rest of your kit and play with it for a little while. Remember those velocity curves, that's the key to making this drum set very responsive and giving you the best performance possibilities. So I encourage you to just go ahead, turn the headphones up, start playing. When you see something you don't like, go back to the velocity curve on that MIDI page and make the change. Once you're done, save it under your name and you'll forever have that glued in.